I have my sticks. I have enough sticks for the day. I have enough sticks for the daytime. Let's go up to the surface. I'm going to do some fishing. I'm going to do some smelting. I'm going to do some almost falling in the ravine. And this is going to be a fun, happy day up here on the surface. A fun and happy day. Yeah. All right. Put down the crafting bench. Oh, my God. This is so beautiful with the shaders. I really can't get over it. Wait, let me... Make a little, um... Where's the ravine? Here's the ravine. I want to make... There's my pillar. Okay. Whoa, that was stupid. Make a pillar. Just so I can see it again. Okay. There's my... That was dumb. Okay, now I have a base. I have a base. That creeper over there is creeping. He is creeping. Oh, I can also farm food. There's all this grass. Can I get some seeds? Seriously? Wait. Wait, seriously? I got a seed? There we go. Oh, this is really trippy. I'm sorry if this is giving you a headache. I'm just kind of swinging my mouse around. Um, that was beautiful, though. All right. So, let's make some stuff. Got my sticks. All right. Um, well, first things first, I need a furnace. Furnace things first. Okay, let's do that. That's backwards. There we go. I need a hoe. So I can farm these wheat. Ah! Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, God. I almost fell in. I almost fell in. Why am I walking here of all places? Right on the edge of the stinking ravine. What an idiot I am. Okay, let's plant some plants. That was so dumb. Alright, plant some plants. Beautiful. And, uh... Okay, let's make a fishing rod. How do I make a fishing rod? Is this... Is that it? Is it that, but the other direction? Is it string at the top? Is it uh, line string diagonally and line down? There it is. There it is. Okay. So all my crops are cooking. I'm going to do a little fishing. I'm going to do a little fishing. I'm going to do a little fishing in the lake in Minecraft. In Minecraft. In Minecraft. Okay. That's enough. That's enough of that song. This, um... I don't see any of the fish particles. Really? I don't. I don't know if that's not part of the shader pack. The uh, fishing rod also doesn't have a line, which is kind of funny. Um, it's possible that the fishing particles aren't in the shader pack. And that I'm, like, never going to know when a fish is coming. So this could be very slow. Oh, I think I just saw some. I think I saw some. Yeah, th there they are now. Oh, they're going now. They're they're splashing. They're splish splashing and fishing and flashing. If I could enchant this, that would be wonderful. Because this is... Come on. I was hoping this, I was expecting this to be a lot more fruitful. There we go! I got a fish! What are you? A raw salmon. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, let me make some armor. Um, I'm gonna have enough for everything so the order doesn't matter. That's great. Alright, and when we're fishing. So, how is everybody's day? Uh, I hope you're enjoying... The Minecraft Hardcore Challenge, so far. I know I'm enjoying the Minecraft Hardcore Challenge so far. It is a lot better. I am doing a lot better than I did last time. That is for certain. 
Although, to be fair, I survived the first couple days with no problems, so... Uh, we, you never know. Alright, I got another fish! I don't know how much fish I need. I'm gonna go caving again. Although, actually, do I need to go caving? I got enough iron to have full iron, iron armor and make iron tools. Um, and that's, like, really... How much more do you need other than that? I could maybe use some more coal to light up the surface. But the ultimate goal of this challenge is not to... Uh, it's not to survive. It's not to get diamonds or anything. The goal is to build a castle with melons. So, whoa, that was a... Oh, I thought that was a bird. It's going to be like that is... Oh, a chicken just laid an egg. Oh, and I was listening to the egg and I forgot to... Ah! Okay. You know what? I'm going to keep fishing, but I think really the only, the biggest challenge here is going to be the melons. I think, I think that's true. I think the biggest challenge in this whole thing is going to be finding melons to make a melon farm with. I'm pretty sure melons grow in the jungle. But I don't see a jungle. In any direction. This is large biome, so if I was gonna find a jungle, I'd have to probably walk pretty far. That may be... something to do in a few days. Right now... I'm still concerned about surviving. I need to make... I need mo a lot more food. And a lot of food. Um... The fact that these are growing a little is is good. Um, okay, let me go. F my my armor's probably done. Almost. All right, I can finish making my suit. Very nice. All right, and I can make an iron sword and an iron pick. And what else do I need, really? You know? Um, let's make a bow. Now, I could use... I could use some arrows. But I can't kill chickens. Or can I kill chickens? I can't eat them. I would imagine it's against the spirit of the rule to kill them. For... Right? Like, it, the, the idea is to be, like, survivalists and... I feel like killing chickens for feathers is kind of against the spirit of the rule. Um, well, there's a mushroom over there. That could be... F is that a giant mushroom? I think that's a giant mushroom off in the distance to the left that way. That could be food, too, if I knew how to make mushroom stew, which I don't. I don't know how to make mushroom stew. So... Not as much a source of food as I want. I was. I'd like. Um, I am not much of a survivalist. Let's be honest here. I would think that uh, you'd think that I would have brushed up on my survival skills before going out into the wilderness and trying to survive for nine days without any uh, killing of animals. But nope, nope. Just sure. Let's do it. I have some time. Let me record some episodes of running around in the woods with my head like a chicken with his head cut off. Okay. I missed a fish because I was talking. That's uh, going to be a theme. It's it's the golden hour. Or the magic hour. Every, all the sun, everything is turning nice and golden and beautiful. And that is just great. It's just great. It's just great. Um, I'd like one more fish. I'd like uh, actually a lot more than one more fish. Um, I should have enough to saturate my hunger before, with this guy, uh, these two guys, before nighttime. Sun's going down. All right, I'm going to have two fish cooked. That's good. I've got extra iron. I've got extra wood. I think I'm going to let these guys chill. I'm going to let them simmer up here and try to grow. There's my shadow. Um, see if I can get a couple more seeds. And then, 
because it's not safe up here, and because I think I want some more, some more coal. To just, I want to light everything up so that I'm as safe as possible. I'm gonna go back down tonight. Whoa. I love, another thing I love about the shaders, love, love about the shaders, is this black and white nighttime. Because nighttime isn't, like, pitch dark, right? Nighttime is, like, you kind of, you can sometimes, at least, you can, like, see a little bit, but you lose your color vision. Can I take the, uh, the old, yeah, take the old, uh, water highway again? You lose your color vision at night. And, um... Okay, is this a dead end? It's just... F oh, crap! Whoa. Okay, not a dead end. Not a dead end. There's a little pit of, of scary hell down there. That's not something I want to be involved with at all. Okay. You get covered. Oh, I should make a bucket. I left my crafting bench, but I have enough wood. Let's make a crafting bench. I hear skeletons. That's frightening. Make a crafting bench and make a bucket. And where's the water? There's the water. And give me the water. Give me the water. That's, that's not a bucket. That was an axe. I was trying to capture the water with an axe like a crazy person. Okay. I got a water bucket. Not sure what I'm going to do with the water bucket, but I've got a water bucket. And now I've got a bunch of torches. And I hear skeletons. I hear skeletons. I am going to go down. I hear... Well, there's stuff down here. I know there is. There is the cave. Instead of finding an entrance, I'm going to make one. And let's make sure that there's stairs back. Um, I want an easy escape if I get in trouble. This is the way home. Um, hang on, hang on, guys. I'm coming. I'll be there in a second. We can fight. We can fight soon. Let me block this off. And now I can handle the spider. Hey, Mr. Spider, I should have blocked this off too. That would have been an easier fight. Or can the spider not fit because this is one block? That's right, it couldn't. All right. That was not bad. That was not bad. That was not bad. Let me block you. And see what's this way. That is a cave spider spawner. That is not a thing I want to see. Those aren't even useful for anything. Is there genuinely, is there any purpose, any use for a cave spider spawner? Any practical use? They're terrifying. That's good. As far as game design is concerned, they, they are a thing to terrify me with. That is true. But... Do they actually do anything? Can you get anything good from them? You can get a lot of string, but you can get a lot of string from a mineshaft. Did any cave spiders get out? That's another question. That's a creeper. I wish they would shut up. I need some more stone for my markers. I, um... I'm frustrated sometimes. I'm sure this is annoying to watch, but... I'm extremely diligent when I explore mineshafts. I block off entrances and then mark them as I went this way or I didn't go this way. Oh. Okay, he blew up faster than I expected. I mark them as either art I went this way or I didn't go this way so that I can... Um, thanks for the stone. And then I can backtrack, but I don't have any, like, open open directions kind of just like looming so I, I know what to expect from everything which is very safe and I love it I love being safe being safe is my favorite thing okay time to go down 
And here's another thing. There's another thing. I can block you. You're unexplored. And you have torch already. And ooh, a minecart. Ooh. All right. Now, is there anything scary in here? No? No. And anybody? No, this is a dead end. Oh, that's so great. It's a dead end. It's a dead end. I love dead ends. What's in here? Bread. Melon seeds. Melon seeds. Melon seeds. Oh my god, there's melon seeds. That's incredible. That couldn't have been any more useful. That's amazing. I got melon seeds. All right, well, um, that's perfect. I got melon seeds. I can, like, build a castle with a melon farm. I can also eat melons, which is great. I, I, I need to make a melon farm. If I can remember how to make a melon farm. Um... And I can have melons for food. I don't have to fish forever again, because fishing is really slow. I haven't fished with an unenchanted fishing rod, like, ever. Because in on DV, when I was fishing, and I had my tackle shop that sells enchanted fishing rods, so obviously I wasn't using vanilla unenchanted fishing rods. I didn't realize how crazy slow it is. It is very slow. Fishing is very slow. It's kind of accurate to real life. Fishing is pretty slow. Uh, which is one of the things I like about it, interestingly enough. People think fishing is super boring, but you have to you have to look at it as relaxing. It's not boring. It's slow on purpose to be relaxing. You know? That's a good thing. Being relaxing is a good thing. It's uh, probably going to be daytime soon, but I'm having fun in this cave now because I love caving. And I particularly love... Um, exploring mine shafts because like my um like I said my caving style is like so deliberate like block this off go this way block this off go this way um and because mine shafts are basically like doors everywhere like they're little or they're little hallways and they give you like one block wide um something could definitely fall on my head from here. Um, they give you, like, little one block wide, um, block, like, things, ways to block off. Now, that's funny. I went through all that effort to block that, and now it's just, like, a dead end with coal. But that's alright. Um, I didn't find anything... Oh, I found melon seeds. I was going to say I didn't find anything super awesome in this trip, but the melon seeds are huge. They're huge. Because I was going to have to go on a trip to find a jungle with melon seeds, and now I don't. I don't have to do that. I really don't need to gather any more iron. I don't think I do. But how much do I have? I have eight, two bars, and all this stuff I'm wearing. I don't need any more iron. All right, let me go back up. Of course, I'm not going to pass up the iron that I see. That would be silly, but... I'm good. I'm good on supplies. I feel really happy right now. I feel really happy about this challenge. Cave spiders, you can just sit there behind that and just die. Is this the way back up? Yes, it is. Hope there's not a creeper waiting for me. All right, and that's the exit. And it's morning. And I have to pillar up again. Except I don't have enough... I don't have enough cobble. So... I'm gonna... I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna use my pillar to pillar. Not the most exciting thing in the world. Okay, let's um... Let's just fantasize about what I'm gonna do when I get to the top. <laughs> 